Opposite the Greek island of Lesbos, on the Aegean coastline of western Turkey, sits Ivalik. A pretty tourist town known for its fresh seafood. And olive groves. The health benefits of olive oil have been known to this region for 5,000 years. The ancient Greeks traded it for textiles and spices from the Far East along the old Silk Road. Like most Mediterranean coastline regions, conditions are perfect for olive farming. It's the main economic activity as far as the eye can see. You cannot do other type of agriculture in this area. Look at stones around. But olive trees like hills, like wine. Umid Ersoy is general manager of one of the most established brands in Turkey. Komili olive oil was founded in 1878. I love these oils. I love, I mean, to grow these olive trees, you need generation. To have a good uh, olive tree, your grandfather should start to this business. It's respected. Olive farms in Turkey are small, family-run businesses. Like fishermen collecting fish. <laughs> Komili's success as an oil producer depends on his relationship with the growers. You should be together with them in their weddings, you should be together with them in their uh, set days. So uh, you should be a part of their life. Without this one, this is not only business, this is not only trade. Because nobody can own all these trees, because these trees not bought by them. This has been taken from their uh, past generations. So the system is connected uh, with good wish and good will, I believe. The farmers use a combination of traditional hand-picking techniques. But for maximum yield, they use the latest technology. This tree-shaking machine is designed in France and costs nearly $100,000. $168 million olive trees grow in Turkey. That's nearly 20% of the world's supply. But production of oil does not match up. In 2015, less than 5% of olive oil consumed globally was pressed on these shores. We need to uh, re revitalize this connection uh, by carrying a good product as well as good culture and good heritage. This is our task. Competition lies in Spain, Italy and Greece. But by 2023, Turkey aims to reach a second spot in global olive oil production. And to do this, Komili has its sights set on the Far East. Actually, China, big population, but uh, China is an interesting country because even small percentage of population, if they have interest in olive oil, this will make great influence to our small country. And in China, we are selling olive oil as a gift product. For Chinese, it's like a, a bottle of champagne, a bottle of wine, and it's given in a very important time of the year. Marketing olive oil to China would help to revive the Silk Road, building a new east-west connection through olives. <laughs>